In this video, I'm going to show you how to navigate around Optimum Dynamics. When you first open Optimum Dynamics, you'll be greeted by the Backstage. In the Backstage, you can save, open, and create new projects. Manage your license key. Configure different options. And view our help file. We'll get started by opening an existing project. On the top, you'll notice three tabs, Design, Simulation, and Analysis. This represents the workflow of the software. We'll start out in Design. In the Design area, you will create and manage your vehicle components. On the ribbon bar, you will see all of the components you can create. On the left, you will see the project tree. It will be populated with your design library. Double click on the component to open it. You can interact with the component and edit it in the document manager. You can also open multiple components. Easily switch between them using the tabs at the top of the document manager. Next is the simulation area. In the simulation area, you'll create your vehicle setup and define the types of simulations you want to run. You'll also launch your simulations from here. All your simulation results will appear in the analysis section. You can directly interact with results by double clicking on them. You can also create reports like charts, tables, and track maps. You'll also create math channels here. If you want to configure Optimum Dynamics, you can do so in the Options menu. To do this, return to the Backstage and go to Options. In the Options menu, you can configure your units, set your decimal place preference, customize document layout, customize tab colors, Configure simulation options. Configure naming options. Customize file properties. And change the 3D visualization. And that's it. You are now ready to use Optimum Dynamics.